our main girl, Urin, MVP, the most talented of the Crane School. Yo ho ho sha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I got another booster box of Dawn of the Z Legends. Look at that secret rare. I think we're gonna find it soon enough. We have to eventually, right? If we just strip them forever, eventually we're going to find it. Anyway, this is another weekly story time with Joku. If you want to subscribe, it's really cool if you do. If you don't, that's fine. Just keep doing whatever you do. You know, if that makes you happy and it makes you happy to not subscribe to my channel and watch my videos. I'm not going to argue with you about that because I can't. I can't. There's not really much I can do. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you guys about a little something today that... You know, I actually made a post about it and nobody really commented on it. So I figured I'd just make a YouTube video about it and talk about it. You know, I make a lot of stuff. I make a lot, 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 a lot of things. Thousands of things. Tens of thousands of things. Actually, in my lifetime, I've made an insane amount of stuff. And, um, oh God, bless them. Bless them. They, King Piccolo. Um, so... A lot of the, the compliment that I, I would say I probably hear the most is people say, oh my God, you're so talented. And, you know, I, I don't think people mean to in, insult me when they say that. I don't think that's an insult. I think that's them saying, you know, like, wow, this is a really cool thing that you made and I'm, I'm really impressed by it. And the way that they say that is that you're talented, which I appreciate the compliment if you know they are saying that they like the thing that i made because i do like when people like the stuff i make I, at the end of the day i don't i, I kind of care more if i like it than if anybody else likes it but if they like it like that's a compliment that's cool but and, I, and i'm sure it's not really their intention but i feel like the word talented is like it kind of suggests that like you you're just really good like you know oh you have this inborn talent where you're just like you're nasty you don't have to do anything and while i don't think I'm untalented. I do think I am talented, but I don't think I'm actually talented at a lot of artistic things. I think I'm, I think my talent is actually more in my creativity and my determination. I think when, oh, yo, I don't think I pulled this yet. Bardock inherited might. This card is sick. What? Yo, that is so dang shiny. This guy's getting the choke hold on him. And it looks like this dude's about to grab his booty. That is dope. What is this card? Deflect blocker revenge. That sounds pretty strong. Is there a way to like play this guy quicker or something? Auto when this card is played from your hand. Oh, activate main three. Hmm. If you have four more Bardox crew with different character names in your energy Z energy battle area. Whoa, that's a lot of areas. Huh. So you could just play this guy for three pretty much. Sounds like he's an eight cost. Deflect blocker revenge. That's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Wow. Cool looking card. Beautiful SPR. Anyway, when people are saying stuff like, oh, yeah, like, uh, you're so talented, you know, it's like, okay, that, that kind of to me says like, all right, like you made this really nice thing and like you didn't really have to work very hard to do it because like you're just, you're just nasty on your own. Well, I'm being honest to you, I've actually been making things my whole life and I've sucked at making things for a really, 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 really long time. And it wasn't until maybe like 10 years ago that the stuff I started making was actually like didn't suck and was like kind of cool. So um, I don't think that I'm particularly talented. Oh yes, Urine, this is my favorite card in the whole set. Urine, Crane School, Witchcraft Master. I'm gonna build this deck. This is the deck that I'm gonna build and I'm gonna play it because I wanna play Urine. Is I don't even know what it does, but you know, it's Urine. How could you not wanna play Urine? I don't think Joe even got one in the case that we stripped him on his live stream. But I think, you know, for me, the the talent that people refer to is really actually skill because I feel like I've honed my skills a lot. If you guys go back and look at like my first YouTube videos, they're not like this. Even when I just started first doing the Dragon Ball Shrippums, like they were very, very, very different from this. It took me a really long time to figure out what the setup was gonna be, what kind of cameras to use, you know, how to edit this stuff, the way in which I would cut things, crop things, intros, ending, and I still don't think they're perfect. Whoa, this is sick. What the heck in heck? Yo, this is a fire SPR. I don't think I pulled this one yet. What? Activate main limit three if your leader is red, black, or black sand, and there are three or more red or black sand cards in your energy battle area. Play this card from your hand, and up to one of your leaders gets plus five thousand. That's kind of wild. What the heck? 
This thing just costs three, and he's got the flex. Does everything have the flex now? Is that just how it works? Is like the whole world have the flex? That's a sick card. That is a sick, nasty card. Very cool. Yeah, but I think it's really more skill, you know? And I think if you want to get good at something, like it's good to have a talent that contributes to making that skill hone a little bit faster, which I think for me, it's the determination and creativity because I'm determined and I think like, you know, the stuff I do is relatively creative. So I go after doing things in different ways that keeps me motivated to continue doing it. And I end up making just like a crap load of stuff. Like if you've seen these cards that I'm making, I'm, I'm making a lot of the cards. I'm pumping out a lot of designs like pretty fast and making a lot of them and figuring out a lot of the holes and, and the way in which I'm doing it and how to streamline it, make them better, make them improve them, just keep, keep improving my craft. And it's something that, you know, if you've talked to me and you make YouTube videos, you know, like one of the things I'm always down to talk to people about is like how to improve your craft and be critical of what you're making and continue to make it better right because like you really can't expect the first thing you do to be good it might be good and it might motivate you to keep making stuff but like it shouldn't be amazing it should kind of be crap because that's where you go in the direction from there unless you're super super talented and if you're amazingly talented then it won't be crap and it'll just be really good right away but that's not me you know the stuff i make is cool i think so i like it at the end of the day, I don't really care that much if other people like it. If other people do like it, it's a great, flattering, nice compliment. But I want I want to like it on my own. I want me to like it because I'm the one that's using it or making it and I want to be proud of it. But yeah, I think talent and skill are different things. So the next time you're impressed with something somebody does and you want to tell them they're talented, consider maybe telling them they're skilled. You know, that might be a better compliment in some way. All right, this is either God Rare or an SR, I think. Is it? SR. And that's that Gogeta. So we got two of those guys. Nice. And Milk Goku. But I mean, the real hot pull in this box, was, you know what it is. You know who it is. Our main girl, Urin, MVP. The most talented of the Crane School. Thank you so much. I'm a dentist. I can't handle without doing a dental tooth tip. If you guys go to the dentist twice a year, that's great. Sometimes you need to go three times a year. Sometimes you need to go four or even five times a year, but you definitely shouldn't go less than twice a year. It's good to get your teeth cleaned professionally at least twice a year and check in with somebody that can help you make sure that you're taking care of your teeth as best possible. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time.